as grift could not isolate or identify the transforming principle so many scientists repeated his work and after about 15 years every mcleod and mccarty succeeded in isolating and purifying the transforming substance in 1944 they showed that it had a chemical composition closely matching that of dna and quite different from that of protein so it provided a clue that dna is the genetic material they showed that uh, proteolytic enzymes proteolytic enzymes are those enzymes which break down proteins and they include pepsin trypsin trypsinogen and they showed that uh, these enzymes had no effect on the transforming substance secondly they also tested ribonucleases ribonucleases are also enzymes which break down rna so ribonucleases also had no effect on that substance thirdly they showed that the enzymes capable of degrading dna they destroyed that transforming substance let us see the experiments uh, conducted by avery mcleod and mccarty so in their experiment they took heat killed s type bacteria and they cultured these bacteria after culturing they homogenized the culture and filtered it these filtrate was treated differently for example they took the filtrate and they treated it with rnas to destroy all the rna present in the filtrate they also treated the filtrate with proteases and the purpose was to destroy all the proteins present in the filtrate and in the in their third experiment they treated the filtrate with dnas so that any dna present in the filtrate may be destroyed after treating the filtrate with different enzymes they put that uh, filtrate into r type bacteria into the culture of r type bacteria so all these were added into cultured r type bacteria so after culturing some days they found in the first experiment both the s type and r type strains were present in the second experiment in which the filtrate was treated with proteases both the s type and r type bacteria were present in the third experiment in which the filtrate was treated with dnas no s type bacteria were present in the above two experiments the s type bacteria were live live s type bacteria so these r type bacteria have been transformed these r type bacteria have been transformed into s type by taking some substance from the filtrate but here as the filtrate was treated with dnas so in this flask no dna was present and in the final flask no live s type bacteria were present that means they could not take dna from the culture which was present here and here so in this experiment no dna was present so no s type live bacteria were found in this flask so every mcleod and mccarty further showed that the purified transforming substance precipitated at about the same rate as purified dna it absorbed ultraviolet light at the same length wavelength as does dna so obviously the transforming substance was dna these findings provided compelling evidence that transforming principle 
and obviously the genetic information resides in DNA and not in proteins or RNA.